Hello, Nina. Hello, David. And welcome everybody to the Equestrian Pedestrian Villas and Beautiful, the Evolving Equestrian, and to Summerwood Stables. Summerwood Stables. How could I forget? Um, David had a really exciting day today. David, <laughs> tell us what happened. So we're training Liberty. That's my passion. That's why I'm here. One of the reasons why I'm here. And we have a rubber tire that's raised. So it's a pedestal, but it's, it's a tiny target. And we've been practicing with on the ground targets, a hula hoop and a black mat and with the bridge on the other side of the arena. And today I successfully got Callie, uh, a horse who hasn't done much Liberty, uh, to get on the pedestal. I did it, we got on the pedestal. It was so <laughs> exciting. It was such a great moment. Um, really, we've only been concentrating on that. You decided you wanted to get her up there maybe a couple weeks ago, or not even, 10 days ago? Just, yeah, just uh, maybe seven days, uh, 10 days ago. Yeah. yeah, and before that, the only background Kelly came with was that her owner had been off and on, had tried with like just one foot, and she was able- when, She knows one foot. Yeah, to put one foot on it, to test it with one foot, but not, the other foot was not coming was not coming no, around. No, even the front, the first, the one foot would go over the pedestal or the side of the pedestal. Right, so t I want you to tell our friends out there how you were able to convince her and to communicate to her that this would be something that she could do. Great, great. So I thought I could just keep telling her over and over to step on the pedestal, but with the horse, the way they learn, uh, that, that only goes so far because she doesn't know what the permutations are or the end goal. So Nina said, I have an idea, and I thought we were going to mirror one of the other horses, Travi, who already knows how to do that. So Callie would see Travi do it and think, oh, I know how to do that too. Stopping you for a second, that is a great plan. Whenever you have, we've talked about this before, whenever you have a horse that can do something and do it well and confidently, it's always great to let that horse teach the other horses. But in what we were doing, I so wanted to exercise David's use of his energy and his communication. And tools. And, and, and what he's learned thus far and how to communicate with them and to think of things, maybe even a little bit outside the box. How can we explain to her what it is that Based you want her to do? Based on what she already knows. And especially because what she already knew, she may have thought Oh, well, that's what I do. I come up here and I just paw at this thing. Uh, oh, uh, great, I'm done. Because she would get treats for that. It was, she didn't realize that was only step one. You now, in the last uh, 10 days, were showing her, no, there's another part of this. That's why we're still standing here. Okay, I didn't think that in her mind, I thought she knew what I wanted. So the way they were able to teach that is Nina suggested going to the bridge. It's like a uh, three foot long and six foot wide or depending how you look at it it's three by six six inches off the ground so cal that's easy for cali it's a big target it's really sturdy she's done that before she knows what it is so nina said i have an idea and i thought we we're going to just bring travi in and that would be <laughs> that would be, would be it <laughs> i didn't want that because i want to put in a little more effort i thought that was cheating nina says not cheating but in my mind i wanted to do it without the use of a horse uh, mirroring another horse so i took cali over to the bridge and I would step up on the bridge with her together and say, step up, step up, and then, you know, back her down, step up, back down, step up, and I would reward her with a couple carrots each time. So she started to pick, put two and two together. Now we're stepping up, and then we go back to the pedestal. So let's backtrack for everybody. Stepping up is one, if we're gonna slice it into different pieces, Stepping up is one of the questions for the pedestal. Can you step up on this? But you mentioned it earlier with what you said. It's a small target. So uh, what did we do to show her? Right, right, what, okay, so yeah. So what did we do? Rewind, so before we went to the the bridge, we call it, the, the three by six, uh, we placed a blue hula hoop on the sand in the arena, not raised, just on the sand, and we placed a black rectangular mat uh, so basically it's a triangle, black mat, pedestal, hula hoop. So we had this little obstacle course for Callie. So we had Callie walk into the blue hula hoop, put her two feet in there. So like Nina said, that's the target. So by repetition, she's understanding that whatever we're doing here, 
it's gonna some things gonna entail putting my two feet Inside. into this space. I'm gonna need to have two feet in a space. So she really got the hula hoop quite yeah. well after a couple of sessions. Back and First forth. she was like one foot out, one foot in, sideways. True. She finally was like one, two, nice and centered into the hula hoop. Pretty confident. And right? with the mat, same thing, one foot on the mat, one foot out here. Then she realized, oh, okay, both feet on the mat. Then she would come back to the pedestal and go, hmm, no, just one foot for that. That's when we had to bring the bridge back in and say, now you understand the targeting and the focusing on this one area, bam, bam, front foot, front foot. Now you have to put it together with and step up and bam, bam. So we married together target the, the target with the action and the stepping up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like axes, horizontal and vertical. So she figured out the direction, the accuracy, and then she also figured out, oh, and then when I get there, I'm going up on it. So we saw her smelling it. We saw her putting her weight on it. One time she almost stepped on it. So Nina predicted. Couple times last session, she lifted the other foot ever so slightly. David probably wouldn't have even seen it because he was so focused on her. I saw it, but I didn't know what that meant. How, how much she that... wanted to, but she, uh, my feeling was from watching her, she wasn't sure it was going to be stable. I think she wasn't true. quite sure it was going to be stable. And today she decided she was going to trust you and find out for yourself. And the coolest part I thought about it was to know that when she finally did get up on it, maybe we can post the pictures along with this or edit the pictures in. She was so straight and so square. It was unbelievable how square and straight she was. Pretty for much a in horse, the center. Yeah, for a horse that had a leg out here and a leg here. It was amazing how when she finally did get up on it, bam, bam. And both very feet. confidently. Yeah, and very confidently. So I think all of those other half attempts, or we weren't even sure if she was. were all calculating she, in yes, her brain. she was putting it all together. She was putting it all together. And when she finally, instead of actually trying the things she was thinking of, she just kept thinking of the things. So when she finally did try it, she very confidently got up as if she had done some imagery work or something, you know? Right. As if she had been preparing, like she knew, like I'm gonna get my feet in the middle of that and everything is gonna be great. And it was so confidence building for her because she was so centered. She didn't take a funny step coming off or a funny step she going didn't. on. Yeah, I was worried about her getting off, but she no, got she off got very like confidently. A, like a champ, yeah. Yeah, clean one step, clean other step and she was off. And Nina told me while she's up there, give her the jackpot, give her all the carrots, because that way she's gonna have a really strong association with, like with Travi, he'll just go straight to the pedestal because that's where it rains treats. Yes, from the heavens, the carrots and the peppermints and the pellets come down. I, it was so exciting for me when I got him on the pedestal, because you know, I was just learning Was he the first the horse that you ever yeah. got on? Okay. Yeah, it was so exciting. Boy, did I make a big, big, big fuss over him. Now I realize that, because he's so drawn to the pedestal, what it can do to build a positive association. Right. I'll see him stand up on it and just... Oh yeah, and but the thing is too, on the other side of that, I have to be very careful if I'm too excited. <laughs> it's funny how we don't even notice yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have to be super, super careful if I'm doing other work because that pedestal still has such a strong draw to it. Today, so, when I was walking past it with Callie, luckily she kept coming with me. Right, But I saw right. her thinking, well, we're supposed to be working on this, right, boss? <laughs> yeah, no, right, she knew, too, that you were going to go back there, and I think she'd been thinking about it, and she wanted to see what she could do. Yeah, and, and I told her, we'll time. come back, we'll come back, let's just walk around, let's hang out for a little bit, and then we'll work on it. And yeah, and, and this is basically part of this video I think is because we're circling back on all these topics we talk about treat dispensing patience camaraderie teamwork utilizing all the different tools so this isn't just like a standalone video it's kind of oh yes it's definitely this ties in all the stuff that we talk about for me it's exciting because I get to see the positive reinforcement at work and here is a green handler, for lack of a better word, a green handler working with a green horse on an exercise that neither of them have ever done before <laughs> and how beautifully yeah. it worked. A week, 10 days, not Good. even that many sessions, 
and up she went today. It was really, really amazing. And, and I was shocked. I, I just th assumed that it was going to take a couple more times. No lead rope, no halter, no whip, not even an unfriendly word was exchanged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no negative energy. Nope. And not even saying the word no. You when she didn't do the right thing, you just corrected her either physically yeah, or yeah. said, you know, it's try again. It's out of my vocabulary. Yeah. It was just it was every single bit of it was positive reinforcement. I think the best part was uh going back to the bridge and just keeping it real simple for her. Okay, we're gonna step up. And I would walk up with her and I would put my chest, you know, my body would come up. So, so she, she would understand what that energy meant. Look. You know, you know about the bridge, so I'm going to show you what this yes, means when I do this. Yes. So, so now we go back to the to the pedestal, and up. I do this. I would even step. I really wanted her to do it so badly that you saw. I was stepping up onto the tire, onto the pedestal, and I was kind of in her space, and I wanted her to see like it's safe. I'm doing it's it. It's safe. I'm doing it, and I'm going to show I you what I want. I think that that was important for her. I think that was important for her to see you do that. I was that. mirroring it as if I was another horse. Exactly. She was, she was, and if they trust you, I've learned with Travi that he maybe maybe sometimes Joe carries a little bit more weight than I do in showing him something. Interesting. But lately, he's very open to what I have to wow. show him. Uh, I would think the that more would... The more our relationship grows and the more trust he gains for me. Somehow my mind says that they don't care what a human does. It's, we're not part of their... No, I think, they, I think they do when we put aside our humanness. Right. All of the bad things about being a human. When we, they like us. When we put the, that, that aside and come at them with a loving energy, I think we're very attractive to them. You know? Yeah, well, they'll, they'll follow us. Yes. So, yeah. yes. so if we walk through the, the tire, uh, yeah. the, the cones and the. It's our responsibility to be a loving and compassionate leader when we need to be a leader when the time comes to be a leader that we never take advantage of that right right and, we and don't, then we love them. when we don't need to be a leader anymore to recognize that that there is a partnership and a unity going on rather than a leadership and a followership one tip before we close out is that nina recommended to put callie in the arena to turn out and go to the bathroom and roll around and run around and do whatever she's got to do i just never thought about the boundaries of that or what what you can gain from putting them in there giving them their space because when i put her in there she's looking at me like well i thought we we're going to work together or where's my treat or why are you leaving me here but then when i do come in 15 20 30 minutes later she's already taking care of all her business and she's like let's let's play let's hang out it's you it, you know everything is very individual to every horse and um for, from for her because you're generally getting her from the stall rather than from the pasture. She's already gone into her stall right. for the day. I think it's very important for her to get, and she being a younger horse and all of that, very important for her to get to be able to get all of her personal business out of the way for her, so she can really focus on what you're going to ask. There's nothing more demoralizing for the human than when you go down to work and that poor horse has to pee, really wanted to roll but didn't get a chance to roll. And you're fighting against that nature, and you're so not having. Just, yeah, they're they're thinking about I have to roll. Exactly. The Let them get it all out first. Come, both of you are coming with a clean slate. Mm -hmm. Maybe everybody's had a little bit to eat. Everybody's hydrated. I drank my water. I cut up the carrots. Everybody's gone potty. Everybody's taking care of their business, yeah. and then you can both focus on each other. So there's all these little subtle things like that make it better. That add sure, up. can you do it without doing that? Yeah, yeah, but why not make it as easy as possible on everybody? Yeah, yeah. So I remember Nina said, give Kelly some time to turn out. And I thought, well, I'm ready now. I can just go in there now. We can start. And then I go and hand, take, cut, cut up the carrots. And I'm looking at the corner of my eye and she's peeing. She's rolling. She's running. I'm thinking all of that stuff is giving her that clean conscience to just, okay, what's up? Let's hang yeah, out. Yeah, now I'm play. ready to do something. Let's play. Let's hang out. I'm, I've done all of my nature things. What do, what do you got? What do you yeah, got for me today? Exactly. Exactly. And it's not like, only can she focus, but she's actually interested in now doing stuff with you because she's done all her stuff. She's ready. Yeah. She's ready to play, yeah. So we had a great time. I'm really proud. I'm really happy. I'm really proud of you guys. I'm, I'm so excited Nina about for it. walking me through step by step how to do it without having another horse do it because I know that works. You've said that works. It was a super exciting this moment. Is a way to use my and brain. are we able to post the picture of it? Yeah, you could put it in the yeah. Fabulous. We'll post a little picture then yeah, yeah, yeah. of it in the comments. Yeah, yeah. We don't have the whole video of the first time of her doing it, but 
we can always get another one and and and, and I, we do have a picture of her up on the pedestal after the first one so yes and the video of her up on it should uh wrap this one up it's getting a little bit longer okay david so thank you and thank you. congratulations on today that was really really thank, exciting thank you it was, <laughs> it was super exciting okay well come and uh like comment like and comment and, and comment you know, let us know what you're thinking tell us about your liberty your yeah. non whipless liberty training and share your thoughts and share your photos you can share your photos too then Okay. Right. Thanks, David. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.